this faucet has been leaking water out where the handle attaches. So I first off, I you know I took the handle off and I tried to get the cartridge out. It's a cartridge type as opposed to uh, having a washer in there. So I need to remove the cartridge. Unfortunately, in order to get the cartridge out, you need to be able to remove this uh, decorative ring that goes around it. Now the problem being, of course, that this decorative ring, as you can see, is uh, polished metal, it's smooth, it's tapered, and no matter what I did, I couldn't get enough grip on there. I tried putting a rubber glove on, I tried, um, you know, I, I couldn't fit vice grips on there, I couldn't fit any kind of a clamp, there's nothing I could get a hold of to give it enough torque to get it to twist. You know, it's had water leaking through it, so I guess there's got, it's got some calcium sediment built up in there, so really hard to get off. So I did come up with a solution, though, to uh, help me loosen it off there. First thing I did is I just got a piece of scrap wood and I drilled a hole through it that was essentially the same size as the piece that I'm trying to get off. So you can see if I fit those together, it pretty much fits exactly. So this turned out to be one and an eighth inch in diameter. Once I had the hole drilled, then I could fit it into a vise and clamp it in really tight. And then I used some material I had, uh, I think anything that, you know, uh, I was initially looking for an old inner tube, but I found some of this stuff. It's just a, um, it's some kind of a rubber mat that I use for a, as a non-friction surface. Um, sometimes when I'm sanding and I, I just want to put something down on the workbench so that things don't move around a little bit. So it's just kind of a high friction surface. And with a couple layers of that, I put that over top of the hole. So now I can go ahead and I can take that and I'll put it into the hole that I originally created and now this allows me to put all of my weight on top of it so I've got a high friction surface there and by pushing down I can turn and I can loosen off that decorative bushing once I've got it loose then it'll I can use finger strength to take it the rest of the way off once I've done that if you look very closely at the threads you'll see that there's kind of a flat spot at one spot there on the threads. So that means we can then take our crescent wrench and put that on there and then we can go ahead and loosen that off and again finish taking that off by hand. Once we have that we can then take out the cartridge and that's what we need to replace. If you look really closely at the cartridge you'll see that there are a couple of pins there. Those are the alignment pins and when you look inside, you can see there are a couple of holes where those alignment pins are going to go into. So that's all you need to do to get that annoying bushing off your tap. Not easily done without uninstalling the whole thing. If you've got stronger hands than I do, and maybe really high grip gloves, you might have been able to do it, but it didn't work for me, so this is what I had to resort to, but it got the job done. Simple hole in a piece of wood with some high friction, high friction surface in between, we get the job done.